My name is Clay Mazur. Hi, my name is Hannah. My role on this ship is a research tech for Dr. Strom. And I am here on the ship to help out with Team Phytoplankton as one of Dr. Strom's new incoming graduate students. I'm also her graduate student. I'll be starting up in the fall. I just started on this particular project, but I've been doing similar work for a couple years now. So I've been doing this work for about two weeks now with Dr. Strom, so not very long at all. But I did have an RU experience in 2016, which was a great opportunity for me to come work with Dr. Strom and for about three months and learn all of what I'm doing now. The focus of our team is to understand what kind of phytoplankton are in the water column and what they're doing, what they're eating, how they're behaving, interacting. So we're looking at dinoflagellates, which are photosynthetic, and ciliates, which are heterotrophic. And we're just trying to classify what the community structure is like out here and what they're doing. This is a fluorometer, and we collect water samples, and then we find all of the little chlorophyll particles, which come from their photosynthesis mechanism. And then um, we extract it out, and we measure it using this device, and that can tell us about what's in the water column. So we're looking at a general picture of how healthy these photosynthetic cells are. I was initially drawn to studying the ocean, I think partially because I grew up in a small coastal community, and so it's always, always been an important part of my childhood. So I grew up in Florida since age five, really, so that was where I started my connection with the ocean. It's always fun as a kid to watch dolphins and, you know, just look at everything in the water, and so that's what really sparked that initial curiosity. And then it became more and more of a passion as it intensified into looking at exactly what is going on and quantifying what that is. I studied abroad and I took a biological oceanography course, which is what we study, and I was amazed at the level of interaction between the physical, chemical, and biological parameters, and you just don't see that really in any other type of work. It's important to study biodiversity because it's part of like what we are as a global community. We're a part of the global biodiversity of Earth, and to, so to understand ourselves and our place within the ecosystem, it's important to understand the rest of it too. We're just, we're just one type of organism, and it's really important to remember that all organisms are important and have important roles. A true, genuine curiosity of what is going on with whatever you're interested in, whether it be biology or physics, chemistry, whatever, just really have a passion for it and be curious and ask questions because that's what's going to progress you in the future. There's a ton of troubleshooting involved, so you just have to learn to go with it. And um, when you get frustrated, to just take a breath and keep, keep persevering. <laughs>